What is up, Cool Kids Club? This is Joe here with Youngster Joey Videos. Uh, and I'm bringing you a little bit of a different episode today. Uh, a couple times in the stream the last couple of weeks, uh, people have asked me how I randomize uh, Pokemon games. So I thought I'd do a quick video just to show you guys. Uh, basically, to randomize Pokemon game, you need three things. You need the ROM itself, you need an emulator to play the ROM, and then you need the randomizer. So I'm going to show you uh, three websites I use to download those three things. And then I'm going to show you how the randomizer works. First, uh, we need to grab a, uh, again, the emulator for the ROM. So we have Visual Boy Advance right here. And again, the link for this will be down in the uh, description. But basically, you just can search uh, GBA emulator if you want. Or again, you can use the link down in the description uh, to get Visual Boy Advance. That's the emulator I use, again, to play any Game Boy Advance ROM. If you want to use uh, a DS game, which again, we'll be able to randomize today, uh, you just click over here where it says Nintendo DS and you can download like DSUMA or anything else. Uh, in fact, I'll even do that real quick just to show you guys how easy it is. But again, yeah, right there. Uh, DSUMA or whatever, however you want to pronounce it. That's the one I use. Uh, okay, so again, we would just click on this. And then the uh, download should start automatically, or we would click one of these, but I already have it downloaded. Uh, and then again, we would need to pick our ROM. Uh, again, for this video, we're gonna do Emerald version, but the randomizer works for any DS or Game Boy Advanced or Game Boy game. Uh, so again, I go on MU, or WoW ROMs, um, and then I just press start download, or download ROM. Uh, and again, I just downloaded this a minute ago, so I'm not gonna download it again. Uh, and then the third thing we need, again, this link will be down in the description as well, is just the randomizer. Uh, and again, all we have to do here is press download for Windows. And then it would download. Uh, it takes about about a minute to download the ROM and the, the emulator and the randomizer each. Now, once we have that all available, we would just come to our randomizer. And we would open it up. Hopefully this won't take too long to open up. <laughs> Yeah, and again, it's called the Universal Pokemon Randomizer because, again, it works for any game that is uh, a DS, Game Boy Advance, or Game Boy game. And we just press Open ROM, and we go to that ROM that we just downloaded. Uh, we have the Emerald ROM. And then we can do whatever we want with it. So, again, most people don't change much about the Pokemon stats, Pokemon types, or evolutions, or anything like that. If you want to do an extreme randomizer, you would change these. Uh, one thing you probably do want to do is change impossible evolutions. Uh, and again, that's basically so you can get a Machamp without trading or an Alakazam without trading. Uh, and then Pokemon abilities, again, most people like to randomize them, but you don't have to. Um, and again, you can decide whether or not you want to allow Wonder Guard, whether you're allow, you want to allow like Truant uh, and Slow Start and stuff like that. Uh, and then next, again, you can change your starters. Again, you can go random, you can go custom, and you can type in like, I want Ratatata. So now Rattata would be my starter if I were to save this. Um, and then again, you can change statics. Uh, this basically makes legendaries, legendaries and normal, normal, like it says. Uh, and then you can change in-game trades. And then again, you can change moves. You can change move power if you want. You can change really just about anything you can think of. You can change the trainer Pokemon. Let's make them random again. This is kind of how I normally do it, but you can change whatever you would like. Uh, you can even make it so that the trainers have like really strong Pokemon. If you go all the way to 50, then like it on route two or route, whatever, like route three in the game where you would normally run to like a level six Pokemon, it's all going to be level nine. Or like when you get to the Elite Four, when the Pokemon's supposed to be level 50, it's going to be level 75. So again, that's a pretty big difference. So we're not going to do that here, but you could. Uh, again, I do this one a lot where it's full, Force Fully Evolved. And that's basically like any time that you face a trainer, it'll be. If they're Pokemon level 30 or higher, it'll be fully evolved. You can randomize the trainer names, you can randomize the trainer class names. Again, it might take you a little bit of time to know exactly how you want to set it up, but there are a lot of different things you can do. Now, this is the big thing. This is just randomized wild Pokemon. Uh, and again, you can change how much, how random you want it to be. If you want, like, the beginning of the game to have weak Pokemon, the end of the game to have strong Pokemon or whatever. Uh, and then, yeah, randomize TMs here. Randomize move tutors, randomize the compatibility. Uh, again, with HM compatibility, a lot of people do full compatibility for HMs. Oh, well, that would be over here, actually. Uh, but again, you don't have to do that. It's just a pretty common thing. You can uh, whatever compatibility here. Field items. Again, if you like uh, random items, you need, want to randomize it. Shuffle it basically means 
you'll get the same items you would normally just in a different spot uh, and then again you can ban bad items you, that like bans berries and stuff and then miscellaneous tweaks I like doing uh, running shoes indoors it makes it faster fastest text makes it faster obviously randomizing catch tutorial is just fun uh, natural decks to start something I like doing a lot it makes it so that you can catch not just like again for emerald there's only 200 Pokemon really meant to be in the game until you get the national decks but if you get the national decks at the start then you can catch you know Cyndaquil on route one as opposed to waiting until after you get the national decks at the end of the game uh, and then lowercase poker aims it's just a an aesthetic thing it looks a little better so again right here in just a couple minutes we have a pretty decently randomized game for the Joey log. Um, and then to save it, all I do is press save. Uh, and I would put it right here. I would go to my ROM slot, GBA, and I do Emerald Joey Lock. Nope. And what I can do here is I can save a log of it, but I'm not gonna worry about that. Um, but again, it is an option you can do and you can also just save uh, the configuration so that you can do the exact same later But again, I like to randomize it every time just in case they want to change anything specific uh, That is an option. So again in just a couple minutes You can randomize a game and then you can start Doing whatever you want again if you want to record it you can you can just play it whatever you like to do uh, But again a couple people have asked me how to do it lately, so I want to let you guys know uh, And that's all I got. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye